Uh, I was thrilled to find out that I'd been awarded the Polanyi Prize. It's a great honour to be uh, to be honoured in this way. And along the way, doing research, you end up having to take leaps and, and leaps of faith and, and make decisions. And you're never quite sure what the outcome's going to be. But when something like this happens, uh, you can look back and feel like, yes, I made the right decisions along the way and be really happy with the things that you're doing. So I have a PhD in theoretical physics from the University of Waterloo, uh, and I was a resident at Primner Institute for Theoretical Physics during my graduate studies. Um, after, I really enjoyed my grad studies and loved physics and loved solving problems in physics, but after that I wanted to do something with more tangible applications in the near future, and so I changed my research focus to look at medical physics, and so my research since that time is focused on computational radiotherapy physics. So I develop computational techniques to study the interactions of radiation with matter, and I look at problems in radiation therapy physics, so related to radiation treatments for cancer. So the goals of my research are to advance our knowledge of understanding of radiation physics, and at the same time, hopefully work towards better treatments for cancer. So brachytherapy is a type of treatment for cancer in which radiation sources are placed next to or inside a tumor. So this type of treatment is very commonly used for prostate cancer treatments. It's also used for breast, uh, eye, and lung cancer treatments. One of the limitations of this treatment is that the method that people use to calculate doses um, has many approximations involved. So I have been developing, along with the group members here, a tool called Brachydose. It's a computational tool for accurately and quickly calculating dose distributions for this type of treatment method. And we're at a stage now where we have, uh, I have several students working on Brachydose here, and we're collaborating with people at the Ottawa Hospital to implement it clinically. I also have collaborators at the Mayo Clinic, and we're studying issues related to treatments there. Uh, in the next few years, we hope to deploy Brachydose to cancer centres uh, in different places in Canada and beyond, so Sunnybrook Hospital, Hospital in Quebec City, and also some in Montreal. So I'm really happy to be part of the physics department here at Carleton. We have a wonderful group of researchers, and there's excellent support at all levels of the university for our research. Uh, we have a nice group in medical physics. There are five faculty members, and within that group, I'm part of the Carleton Lab for Radiotherapy Physics, which is a group of three faculty members, and we're all engaged in research into radiotherapy physics.